start screaming. All right, so I have been working on um, an add-on that will translate geometry nodes from Blender to geometry scripting in Unreal. Uh, how do I put this? <laughs> it's it's complicated. I have to. Unreal is very early in its uh, geometry scripting, so a lot of the functions I have to write, uh, and a lot of the functions um, that they do have are not, they don't produce the same results as the, as the functions in Blender. Um, for example, extrude, I have to make sure that every single index of every single point face and vertex are the same. Everything's in exactly the same place, same manner, everything is identical. Um, this this is the node for extrude uh, geometry uh, that I had to write. <laughs> and after, yes, it just keeps on going and, and going. And oh, oh, there's the end. <laughs> Yeah, this is all the stuff that I had to do to make it match Blender exactly. Uh, I've got a few other nodes translated, but not very many. Uh, let's see. Um, let me get to the event graph. Oh, this is just the translator. Uh, I've got all these nodes are translated. Uh, curved line, curved circle, curved mesh, uh, node group. So it creates a function for the node group, but doesn't actually populate it. Uh, it just creates the node. Uh, reroute node, which is the little knots here. Uh, input and output node. Um, Transform, input index. I don't even know. Oh, that's the uh, when a user, uh, when a Blender file uses index, um, it's like a global variable. Uh, so I made a global variable of index and of, uh, what was the other one, position. Yeah, input position. A um, couple other files. Anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, that, is, that this one, I spent probably 300, 400 hours of work on this. Um, note that I, I don't know programming at all. <laughs> and I had to write C++ plus plus code for a lot of this. Um, like he calls a bunch of functions I had to write in C++ and I had to talk to ChatGPT to get it to work. Yay! Uh, I never thought I would have, you know, artificial intelligence. It's not artificial intelligence. Machine learning writing code for me. Uh, it's usually wrong, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. All right, so I wanted to demonstrate that it works in real time. Okay. So I haven't set up an interface or anything like that, but um, this is my test file. And uh, event graph. All right, so on event tick, I have it casting the rebuild. So it builds the entire mesh every single tick. Yes, I could ch change this to make it more efficient where it only rebuilds it when there's a change, but that's later. Um, and what rebuild does is, well, it basically is just a copy and paste of this right here. Um, there's just a couple of nodes. Circle, uh, curve circle is the base. Curve line is the uh, vertical part up and down. Curve to mesh turns it into basically a, a circular plane. Um, basically a two-dimensional donut. Uh, or like a donut with no thickness. Uh, this extrudes it upwards another notch uh, so that it's uh, two squares tall. 
uh, and this extrudes uh, the mode where it says anything other than edges it's faces <laughs> Uh, so faces 0, 4, 5, and 9 uh, out of a resolution of uh, 5. So 0 and 5, no, 0 and 4 are touching each other, and 5 and 9 are touching each other above 0 and 4. Um, but I've promoted individual uh, for extreme mesh faces. Uh, there's an individual thing in, in Blender. So I've set that as um, a variable that's visible to the player or visible outside. I could set it up as a blueprint and give them an uh, interface, but I haven't done that. Uh, same thing with the scale. So, well, something that's, that's not here but is in, in rebuild is I added in uh, scale elements, which I had to write this thing from scratch. Um, so again, the main is phase two, which is essentially edges. Uh, scaling is uniform. Scale is another one that I uh, made visible. Uh, viewport, not the viewport. The viewport, it's very easy because I could just, you know, uh, where is the individual? Like in the viewport, it just, you know, does its own thing instantly, no matter what. But for whatever reason, in while it's not running, you know, I can just click it. But if it's running, I have to make it rebuild it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't care. I've got it working now. And. Here we got the, the scale, uh, let's see, individual, you know, builds off the four different squares separately. Let's change this. The scale is um, the top ring of edges, it! the top ring of edges, so it doesn't actually uh, change while you're editing it only once you like let go of it uh, so the top little ridge right here uh, is what's uh, changed by scale and it just goes down to zero zero and you can see the difference between individual and this is during gameplay And this is regenerating this entire mesh from scratch, every single tick, and it's still performative. The little hazy thing right there is uh, something to do with Unreal's shading. But it's just a demo of uh, the difference between <laughs> individual faces like it extrudes each face individually versus extruding the faces as, together. Um, like you can see, all of them go in the direction, the face normal on the individual, whereas it has to get the face normal of every connecting point that's included without adding in the ones that are excluded to get the normal of the vertex that it's supposed to go in. Uh, like this one takes in all four of these faces, but this one would only take in these two to figure out where it's supposed to go. Uh, but this will open up uh, new forms of gameplay as players are able to take in geometry nodes um, objects and be able to change them during gameplay uh, and most of them, you know, they're not going to hurt your performance because uh, the rebuild time. Uh, my in Blender, I have 18,000 node object uh, that is a humanoid creature, um, and it re regenerates the entire model in 50 milliseconds. Um, 
and it only needs to do that when there's a change. So, I mean, unless you're changing 50,000 objects at one time, you're never going to see it. Now, if you're generating, if you're generating from scratch, it has to build out the new model. Um, so, it could only generate, I don't know how fast Unreal is going to be, um, but if it was Blender, it could only generate 20 per second. So as long as you're not generating any more than 20 objects per second, you're good. Um, if you're trying to generate more than 20 per second, uh, you might be uh, SOL. Um, one way to get around that would be to, like if you're generating a forest and you want all the trees to be different, um, you could generate like copies and then r uh, of one and then replace them as you go through with the newly generated ones. Uh, but you can only get about 20 per second. But that's it.